So the month of October in Throne and Liberty is coming to an end. This means you need to go and spend your Battle Pass currency, these Star Crystals, and if you have not already, take advantage of the monthly sales for your ornate coins. So let's go through exactly what you should be getting with that. First of all, the Battle Pass. If you do not spend all of your currency, of which you have just over two days remaining, then they'll all be turned into quality recovery crystals, healing you for 1,200. Not the best that there is, you're better off getting rare recovery crystals, but somewhat useful. However, I would recommend just spending it. We go to the Xena Star Shop, and unless you have the premium pass, you're not able to buy any of these skins. So you're left with just this stuff. Looking at the abundance fruit, you can see will just give you a little bit of an extra solent gain. This can be very good when doing your open world dungeons and using up those abyssal contract tokens. So I definitely do recommend them if you find yourself needing that extra solent. The maximum you can get is three here, which will be a total of 15. Just be aware they will expire in 30 days. That is the same with the mastery report books. And these give you 30% extra of mastery XP. They are also very useful. Again, you will use them while farming your open world dungeons to get mastery points for your weapons. The other options are contract rights. You can gain one extra per scroll you spent, which is useful. And this is the best way to get solent plus contract tokens rather than buying the solent here or down here. However, your first priority is most definitely trade extraction stones. So you can sell those traits of any good items you obtain and then trade conversion stones. These can be very useful if you obtain an item that has a bad trait. So make sure these two are on sold out and you got as many as you could. If you're unsure what restoration coins are, they're basically when you die and get respawned after being killed by a player, you need to go to your priestess, like her right there, to cleanse that injury. And you will spend those restoration coins. However, you should get quite a fair amount of those coins through the guild just by participating in some contracts, you get like five there. I personally have over 485. So absolutely no need to get them here. And otherwise, there are cooking ingredients. It can be very useful here for especially the golden apples, which you can farm in other areas though, as when you get high enough level, you can craft these and they give 50% extra mastery bonus and abyssal contract token efficiency. And you can see you need those golden apples. And then natural essence, which you'll use for crafting remedies. You'll see that here, you'll need it along with these element ores. They can be particularly useful, giving a temporary boost of 20% damage or 20% less damage taken and even having a CC break. And then just salt and protein. So again, the priority, get these trait stones. And then I'm personally going to buy the abundance fruit here with that deal to buy this bundle for 540 and also those mastery books. Get my remaining two as I already bought one earlier. And then these contract rights. And that's pretty much everything for all the star crystals. These top deals here are a bit better than just buying the singles. Be aware if you do need skill conversion books, they are here. But I do recommend figuring out what you want, what skills to use before actually upgrading them. But if you made any wrong decisions, the options there. It basically allows you to swap the XP from one skill to another. So we just have 130 tokens left. I may as well see what's up with these cooking ingredients chests. I personally still need to upgrade my cooking. So now we move to the ornate shop here. Again, highly recommended to take advantage of these monthly sales, but you will be able to save your ornate coins for the next month if you say didn't have many and wanted to make sure to get the best things next month. The first priority I would say is to get all of the precious blessing pouches. They give you a chance to get purple gear, very low drop rate though, but what's very important and what they always drop are these scrolls. They will allow you to do contract quests, which will give you more contract coins, solent, and very importantly, this abyss currency. 
and even these pouches which have a chance to give you epic gear along with these other useful items so get the 15 that you're allowed for this month and after that you could potentially get the trade extraction stones or the enchanted ink however they are pretty costly and you can get them cheaper in other places if you're into making lithographs which can be very useful when you say obtain a great item that might sell for a lot you basically create a lithograph out of it you need a blank lithograph and to get a blank lithograph you have to craft it which needs 50 enchanted ink for just one of them and that's the main cost here along with those precious rubrics and so a source can be here you will get a bunch though from just your weekly merchants along with trade instruction stones so they might not actually be the biggest priority to obtain them here so i would prioritize these precious growth stones for now again we only have 20 that we can purchase per month so get them while you can and once the next month flips over you'll be able to get more you're just spending 200 tokens there and you'll get 20. i don't recommend buying the blue ones other than for skills these growth books are generally harder to come by you don't just get a whole lot of free ones just getting to level 50 you generally get enough that you can max out everything but the books are generally harder to come by especially if you're switching between different weapons you might need to upgrade even more skills so that's pretty much it i am not going to spend more ornate coins i don't believe the ink or the trait extraction stones are really worth it for five coins each when you can already get quite a lot every week through the contract coin merchant but it is a possibility if you are running out on those and need more just don't go crafting lithographs unless it's actually worth doing it check the price you spent on these and see actually how much profit you'll make by selling that item as a lithograph in most cases it's just worth doing the trade and otherwise the item might just drop for you unbound anyway and you can sell the entire item if it is super rare like a world boss drop a few last notes here especially with regards to these amatoys you do not need them whatsoever. That's completely pointless to get them. They're literally just vanity items. You can check your amatoys here, your lithograph book, your pal synergy, and none of them are needed for any of these synergies. So absolutely worthless to buy them. And you should have enough amatoys for your amatoy missions that you don't need them. Otherwise, yeah, just a title, another one here, some dye if you're really into the fashion, and some sewing thread which will help applying a pattern. In terms of the fishing bait, if you need a lot of them, you'll be able to buy them next month too. Just get that chest once per day here with the contract coins. Overall, thanks for watching. I hope this was somewhat insightful enough as to exactly what to spend those currencies on. And do it sooner than late, as you only have a few days remaining. And be sure to check your mail if you haven't already. I believe you should have been able to obtain 50 free star crystals there with a reminder to spend them. And otherwise, we get plenty of free ornate coins just by the game having like maintenance and sometimes some issues they need to fix. So we'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.